In this video, I'll show you how to remove duplicates and remove duplicate rows from within LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael and I'm with Office Nifty. I make weekly videos with tutorials and tips and tricks to help you learn how to make use of your spreadsheet and to save time within LibreOffice Calc. So here I have an example spreadsheet with the table in here representing car inventories. What data and what information you have doesn't matter too much, so you can try and follow along with your own table. In the first example, I'll go ahead and try to remove duplicates within the first column. And just a note that in removing duplicates, it is case sensitive. So to demonstrate that, I will Go ahead and change one of the cells and I'll just make this city AA to have a lowercase a. And I'll continue on with the demonstration. So now we want to go ahead and select the column that we want to remove duplicates from. I'll just click and drag to make my selection. Now I've selected the first column. We can go ahead and go to data. Click on more filters and standard filter. And here a standard filter wizard pops up. Under the first row for the value dropdown, we'll go ahead and click on not empty. All this dropdown means is that we want to target cells within our selection that are not empty. And then the important part is now go ahead and expand options by clicking on it. And we see that there is a checkbox for no duplications. And we'll check on this. We also see that there's a checkbox for range contains column labels. I did select the column label for branch, so I'll check this as well. Then lastly, we want to check copy results too. So what this allows me to do is put the distinct values into a new column. And here I'll click on this button. It's labeled as shrink. And so we see the wizard has shrunk. And then I can just click where I want the spreadsheet to put the distinct values. I'll go ahead and click on the cell G3. And I can click this button to expand back to the wizard. And I'm good to go and I'll hit on the button OK. So now we see the results the spreadsheet has given us. The values for each city is displayed and selected. And it includes branch as the column header for us as well. So this is pretty convenient and essentially it has removed any duplicate cells within the column that we initially selected. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is good, but we're using a table and what if there are duplicate rows in a table and we want to clean up the table and not have that be shown. But I'll demonstrate that now. I'll just quickly get rid of this information here to start over. I'll try to make one row a duplicate of another. So I'll just pick row 9. It's the branch of city AA. Now make sure the rest of the cells also has the same value as the first row here in row number 3. I'll change this to model 1. And then I'll change this to showroom 2. I'll change this value to 14. And lastly, I'll change this to 12. So as we can see, I have made row 9 match row 3, making row 9 a duplicate row. Now that we have a duplicate row, I'll go ahead and go through the same process, but to remove the row. So I'll select from cell A3. And I select it all the way down to cell E30. And I'll scroll up. We'll go back to data, more filters, standard filter. With a value drop down, again, we'll pick not empty. Expand the options. And in this example, I actually did not select the column headers. So I'll keep this button unchecked. I'll check no duplications. And I'll click on copy results too. And I'll shrink the wizard 
and I'll pick the cell where I want the results to show up. I selected cell G3 and now we're back to the wizard and I can click on OK. So now the spreadsheet has given us the result and as we can tell where row 9 used to be, I'll make this bold to make it easier to follow. Column 9 is no longer available in the new table that's generated. Instead, we have row 8, which is city CC, and then we have essentially what is row 10 here for city BB. And an easier way to view this is if I insert an empty row down, it will be easier to match the values by eye. And there we go. I verified that they've removed row 9 for us, but everything else is there in terms of the rest of the rows in the table. The reason is because they are all distinct in terms of the row information and none of them are actually duplicated. And if I wanted to clean up my table more, I can copy in over the column information since I left that out. And then I can delete the empty row that I inserted. So here we have the new results and we know that there are no duplicate rows within our table. So that's it for this quick tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, stay nifty.